Hey, what's up, dreamers, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick technical analysis on what's happening inside the market. Now, you guys know that we're heavily invested on QQQ, so we're going to do a technical analysis on QQQ. And like I said, since QQQ is heavily invested inside the technology sector, they take a bigger hit when the market is pulling back compared to a VOO and SPY, compared to the rest of the S&P 500, QQQ take a bigger hit. So we're going to do a quick technical analysis inside of this video to try to see if we can find some good entry points or we want to put in some options on QQQ just in case we want to hedge ourselves if the market continues to pull back with everything else going on in the world, with Tesla having their callbacks, making a lot of technology sector drops. Uh, Google have pulled back. A lot of companies have pulled back this last week. So we're going to see if this pullback is going to continue. Should we wait to get in? Where it's going to be the bottom? Should we throw in a large lump sum of money when it hits the bottom? Let's take a quick look at QQQ and this technical analysis video. And if you find this video helpful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button at the end of this video. Share it with a friend and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. All right, before we do dive into it, Moomoo Moo have provided me a special link just for me, just for my subscribers down in the description below. If you click that, sign up, deposit $100, you can receive now 10 free fractional shares. So it used to be seven. If you go find somebody else's link, if you just go to their website and click on it and sign up, deposit $100, you get seven free fractional shares. If you use my link, Thank you, Moomoo. You, will guys, you guys will receive 10 free fractional shares. So they provide you with three extra free fractional shares of the big seven. These are the technology companies that's going to be inside QQQ. So if you guys want to check that out, if you guys want to get some free stocks, that link is going to be down in the description to Moomoo. I want to thank them for providing my subscribers, you guys, you, you guys that subscribe to this channel with this amazing opportunity. So don't miss out on that. That link is down in the description below. All right, dreamers, here we are on Trading View. SPY tracks the S&P 500. As you guys can see, it had a major pullback. So the VRO is it's the same thing. But, let, but let's go ahead and look at QQQ. And bam, as you guys can see, it had a major pullback. Now, let's go ahead and turn off the bot signals. And then we're going to trade change the um, candlestick wicks to the Hikanashi candles. The Hikanashi candles just kind of get rid of the fluff and show you the momentum of the market. Um, so now you're not just saying if you're not used to if you do not know how to read candlesticks yet, I'm going to probably teach you in a future course or something like that. But the Hikanashi candles are very um, even if I'm saying that right, it's very easy to understand. Either green bar means the momentum going up, red bar means the momentum is pulling back. And as you guys can see over the last couple of days, the last week. All we had was a bunch of red bars pulling the stock market back all the way from a high of $448. And now QQQ is at $414, a major pullback. And you guys know I'm dollar cost averaging in on QQQ every single day. So, so ever since April 12th on Friday, we just had red bar after red bar after red bar pulling all the way back, going down below our resistance lines. Now, if we was to show an uptrend in the trend line, we could draw it from here. All the way up to here. So it touch, 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 pull back, touch, and then it finally broke below. But an easy way for us to look at another momentum that I use is this green and red bar right here, the whole suite. Now, the whole suite shows that if it's green and you're trading above the green, it's usually going to go up. And then the first time it changed over from being green. So the first time it went from being green was all the way back in November 2023. And then it stayed green all the way up until this, this first time it turned red was on April 8th, 2024. So that could have been a signal for us. It was like, hey, it's trading below the whole sweet line and it turned red. This could be a signal that is going to start to pull back. And in fact, it really did start to pull back with added news inside of the stock market. And it also broke the uptrend line. You could have probably used this as a support, but it did broke, break the uptrend line to start to pull back. And then another bad signal for QQQ is that this um is that this 200 EMA that usually shows the support and resistance of the stock market or whatever stock that you're looking at. This yellow line shows the long term. It's the 200 EMA. It shows the long term. It shows the long term. Um, strength are the support or resistance lines of the technical analysis of um, whatever stock that you're looking at and it actually broke below it right here so <laughs> so since it broke below a support line it can continue to pull back so, so let's draw a couple more support lines right quick 
We're going to pull out the rectangle tool. A support line could be right here because it had a, a little bit of resistance right there. And then it broke through. We could use that line. And then we're going to do one more right here. It's having a hard time break below that. So um, some entry points that we could look at quickly would be one, two, and let's draw out a very dramatic one down here in this area. So QQQ right now at the time of recording this video is $415. If it pulls back to $412-ish, you guys could probably pick up a couple of shares. And if it continues to pull all the way back to two, 340 if it continue to pull all the way back to around $300, $399, $344, that is a you double whatever you wanted to invest. So if you invest $100 right here, you're going to invest $200 right here. And if it pulls all the way back to the $358, $355 price point, you're going to 4X that. So you're going to invest $400 right here. So $100, $200, and then $400 right here or even more. That would be an awesome entry point if it pulls back to that. But I think QQ, I do not think QQQ is going to pull all the way back to $359, $360. If it do, I'm going to go in with 10X my money because that is an amazing price for me to get into. So let's remove these lines right quick. So we're going to remove that one and... Remove that one and remove that one. And then let's take a quick look at the. OK, so we're going to pull up the RSI indicator. And as you guys can see, whenever the RSI, it shows the relative strength indicator. And whenever it's overbought, like right here, it kind of pulls back a little bit. And whenever it's oversold right here, as you guys can see, it's oversold. When it pulls back, it kind of has a little rebound. So whenever it's way overbought, it has a pullback. Whenever it's way oversold, it kind of bounces back up. And right now, as you guys can see on the red of the strength indicator, it is definitely oversold. So that is a good thing that it could potentially have a rebound. Not sure if it is going to have a rebound, but it is oversold right now. The market is overreacting. So we can keep an eye on that. Remember, your, your reward must always outweigh your risk, and you don't want to go in and buy up a lot of shares when it's um, overbought. You want to go in and buy a lot, of, a lot of shares when it's oversold. So let's go ahead and close that right quick, and we're going to take a quick look at one more thing. We're going to take a look at the Fibonacci sequence. So on the Fibonacci sequence, we're going to draw a line all the way at the bottom to the top right there. And without even doing anything with the Fibonacci sequence, this is like the golden rule right here. So it went all the way up and these lines hold true all the time. It bounced off this line, went up, got rejected at the golden line, uh, came back to the support line and went all the way back up to the purple. So now if you guys are looking for a good entry point anywhere in between the 408, between three. 95 that is a good entry point and if it pulls back to 382 to 364 in this area right here that is buy 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 i'm gonna buy a whole bunch of shares right here so right in here i'll buy a hundred dollars in here i'll buy four hundred dollars right so that is my plan on what i'm gonna do with qqq and there we go dreamers that's it let me know what is your plans for qqq or voo or spy in the future is the market going to continue to pull back let me know down in the description say hey the market's overreaction it's not going to pull back too much more or let me know down in the description that you did your own technical analysis and that you know what the next move is going to be that you know that's going to pull back or you know that it's going to rebound or this is your entry points let me know what you're going to do down in the uh, in the comment section and I'm also going to leave that link down in the description to Moomoo. Get your seven free fractional shares, deposit $100, and start to trade and buy a couple of those stocks inside of the platform that you guys could get used to buying and selling and trading inside the platform, right? So um, other than that, guys, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.